Oh, look at that puppy inside of that car and it's not dying of heat exhaustion. This has been a problem all over the place. I know you're probably tired of seeing in the news that either, you know, a baby or a dog, um, something happened to it because somebody left them in the car and it was too hot and it died or, or, or had some sort of a issue. Now, there are laws out there now that are allowing people, good Samaritans, to break the window to get to the baby or, or an animal if they believe that that, that a baby or an animal um, is, is, is experiencing an issue because of the heat. Uh, now, unfortunately, there were a few cases where uh, people broke the windows in Teslas that had their conditioning going uh, and therefore, um, you know, but, 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 but they, as they were saving the animal, they really were just vandalizing the car. Uh, so now Tesla did something about it today, as uh, Elon promised, the dog mode is, is what, it's, what it's calling it. There was already something very similar to it where it just kind of maintained the, the temperature in the car as the owner left. So I don't quite understand, uh, to be honest with you, why it was kind of a rolled out in, in two stages. But this one is a little bit better, though I still have some concerns. By the way, just so you know, I'm not in a studio, as you probably know, I'm right now in Spain, uh, uh, test driving the Audi e-tron. As a matter of fact, they just did a big presentation for us where uh, not only the e-tron was on stage, but also uh, the e-tron GT, uh, the brand new four-door all-electric Audi is here as well. You probably remember it from uh, the uh, Super Bowl commercial, the first all-electric Super Bowl commercial. So that was pretty cool. I got to drive it in Los Angeles uh, a couple of months ago. You can see it as a featured video on my channel. So, but let's talk about the dog mode. Okay, so basically when you leave the car and you leave your dog in the car, by the way, I'm not really sure why it's called dog mode. Maybe it should also be baby mode because or kid mode. Like, I don't even know if people should encourage leaving kids in the car if they you know, can, you know, uh, die from heat exhaustion. But anyway, we're concentrating on dogs right now. And by the way, some people do have cats that they bring on their trip, so uh, pet mode, that really should be should be called. Anyway, so what happens is you know if you leave your pet in the car. Uh, the, the temperature in the car gets maintained at a certain degree, which is great, that already existed. But also what happens is on the monitor, uh, the, you know, the monitors are pretty big, um, the, the information gets displayed to whoever's looking inside the car and basically it says, hey, my owner went out for a walk, uh, I'm perfectly fine here, here's, here's, the, here's the, uh, the temperature right now inside of the car don't worry right now granted that people have to still look into the car and, and read it but the monitors are pretty big and you know when you see a message when you see the, mo the monitor that's on in a car obviously you're probably going to read it so I'm not as worried about it because some people uh, used to just put like a little um, notes on their windows for people who might be concerned about their dogs so that definitely replaces them what I don't quite like it, and I wish I was doing this in the studio so you guys can actually see uh, this, but you can go to any Tesla uh, social media feed and you'll see it over there. The, the, this text on the display is actually not that big. You kind of have to really read it, uh, but the temperature is. The temperature is kind of displayed in a, in a pretty large numbers, which is good. My suggestion would actually be is maybe, um, maybe make the temperature like maybe in a big red or blue or whatever circle so you can really see the temperature. Um, and the message, maybe say something you know um, attention onlooker or you know something to grab an attention or partial looking inside of the car uh, because it's a little bit hard to read now obviously I know this is probably going to be improved as Tesla is getting feedback I think they're pretty good at it uh, and obviously it's easy for them to kind of uh, do an over-the-air update you know my question is why now why not like many many months or years ago because I don't think this was something that they couldn't do many years ago but nevertheless this is definitely good news by the way before I go any further I just want to make sure that you guys know that this uh, channel and uh, this video is sponsored by StarmanGifts.com. The Adventures of Starman um, must have, especially if you want to relive the launch of the Falcon Heavy. I know you guys are a huge, huge fan of you know Elon Musk and SpaceX. This is a pretty, pretty good way to go. Check it out. There's a discount code in the description of this video, um, and the discount code applies to everything that you buy at StarmanGifts.com. So. Um, Back to the uh, back to the uh, update. Now, there's another thing, by the way, that came out today is uh, Sentry mode uh, um, uh, for, from Tesla, and this is uh, against the break-ins. Uh, another thing that's been happening a lot to Teslas. I don't know why all of a sudden now. Maybe this is because there's like just more Model 3s out there. But nevertheless, the rate at which I see this being reported is kind of high. Um, now, what Tesla did is basically now you can activate that mode, and the cameras around the car will start recording um, anything that they believe is kind of a suspicious 
suspicious activity, if they believe the window is broken, and you can actually have an add-on in your Tesla uh, for that as well as to monitor that what's happening with inside the car. Um, you get a notification on your phone, uh, Tesla starts taking, the car starts taking the video, I believe all the way to up to 10 minutes before the incident, and it starts playing really loud uh, uh, music, I believe actually organ music, I think it's Bach, Toccata, and Fugo in D minor, which is actually one of my most favorite pieces of music ever. If you ever have a chance to, to go to a, a concert, uh, uh, please do. So it definitely will get my attention. And so basically lots of noise, the, the, the music, the lights will come on inside the car, the car will start, I think, believe, believe, blinking lights, and then of course the camera is going to be recorded. Now, it's all good, um, and I'm sure the, 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 most of the themes would run away, but your window would still be broken. As you know, most of the time that's the problem because, you know, they don't steal anything if, if they don't need it. They break the window so they can lower the back seat so they can see what's in your trunk. Um, however, you know, hopefully as the word spreads that Tesla has that mode, people will just not get in knowing they're going to be recorded um, and that hopefully will uh, will will persuade people not to do it though i've had my car broken into my tesla and i had everything on video and it was like well which one of the kids in Oakland with a hoodie, uh, you know, robbed your car in the dark? It's impossible to find. So as much as video helps, you know, and a lot of times, you know, things kind of know. Um, I do have another video on my channel about things, what you can do to just prevent this from happening, whether or not you have this entry mode, whether or not you have a Tesla, there are just good practices um, that, that I've, I've actually read up quite a few former thieves um, that, that gave advice on what you can do to avoid this from happening. Check it out on my channel um, so yeah listen both good features I'm excited about the dog mode I know that will help a lot of animals and a lot of people hopefully as well other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged